So this is the flounder that Jordan caught, and he's actually the man behind the camera. But um, this, the remainder of this video is going to be about cleaning a flounder. If you already know how to do that, you can go ahead and cut it off. But if you want to watch and see how I do it, then feel free to continue watching. Uh, the most important step is to spray the fish off. And the reason I say that is because they are completely slime. And uh, you can get a lot better grip. It's not going to move as much on you if you go ahead and spray it down and get it clean, get your surface clean. And uh, we've already scaled the fish. We used a uh, butter knife, so that doesn't work great. So if, if you don't have a scaler, get on Amazon, look up fish scaler. You can probably order one for a couple bucks. Uh, this is like a 20 inch flounder. So, I mean, we should have probably a pound of meat here when it's all said and done. But uh, if I were gonna clean this fish, step one would be to work on the white side first. I'm gonna put a slit in the tail and you're gonna have different schools of thought, but some people are gonna make a- Just a, cut off. A, did it? Nope. Huh? Nope. The screen cut off. Oh, okay. I got you. Um, some people are going to make a solid line here. You're going to lose the belly section, but you know, the argument is you're not going to eat that anyways. Other people would come through here. Just for the sake of the fish, I'm going to just come up through the head. <laughs> Another important thing to highlight is you need to sharpen your knife as much as possible. As you can see, my knife's pretty dull. Um, this is the step that people are going to mess up and lose a lot of meat. So if you start here in the tail section, I'm going to flex my blade enough to a point where I can feel the backbone raise up and down in between those sections with my knife. And then I'm going to, what I'm doing here is I'm going to actually torque down on the blade and just, I'm really pulling through the fish. I'm not jamming down into them. I'm just using, letting the knife do the work. That's another thing that people do with fish that they don't realize is detrimental. Is they don't let the knife do the work. It's made for this. You're not trying to put a lot of pressure. I'm slowly torquing down and letting the knife do the work. So you'll notice here, it looks like I made a mistake. All right, this is actually a part of the, the fins that they use to control the sand on top of their body. It's actually a good thing that you see those because that means I'm getting close. You wanna get down as close as possible because then you're maximizing the fish. So now I'm done with this side. All right, I got this little sliver right here. And again, I have a terrible knife. So key is to get you a good knife. Other side, flexing down. I'm feeling that backbone. I'm slowly working up and down that backbone. And then I'm, this time I'm torquing the opposite direction because I want to torque down on it. So slowly work up that backbone, torque down, slide down. Let the knife do the work. That's the key takeaway here. All right, so now we've worked through both sides of the fillet. The only thing that separates this, this little section right here needs to be done. I'm gonna just take the knife and run right up the backbone. So now I just, and if you had a sharper knife than I do, this would come off easier. Now we have a fillet there. And then on the back side, I'm cutting the tail. And this is where you can get all your meat from. And I'm working around the head. So basically, I've almost cut his head off, but not really. So I'm flexing down on the blade. I'm feeling each and every vertebrae. And then I'm torquing down on it. Watch out, Ed. Watch out, buddy. Out. And it's okay to go a little slower than you think you should because you don't want to miss the meat. Some people would cut down the center here and flip back. I mean, that works too. I've just never done it that way. side doing the same thing now we have two really nice fillets and the goal here is to be able to 
to see through the fish. And, you know, I don't have a very sharp knife, so I miss a little bit of meat, but not a whole lot. But that's it. And now you, of course, you would cut your belly out. You've got a rib cage running through here. Um, that's your preference. Do what you want to do. You could just go around here and cut. You could, you know, slowly work down and get the rib cage out on each side individually. That's up to you. But that's, that's basically it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it.